And we are back, and we just finished watching 2022's Fresh, rated R, with a runtime of one hour and 54 minutes. This is currently streaming on Hulu. This was directed by Mimi Cave, with a writing credit to Lauren Kahn, and stars Daisy Edgar Jones as Noah, a young woman who you see is a serial bad dater, I guess, through no fault of her own, just maneuvering the dating scene when she meets Steve, played by Sebastian, wonderfully played by Sebastian Zinn. Um, seems like the perfect who guy. Who seems like the perfect guy, but of course... Things go awry. Things go, things go awry. I, um, I don't... You know what? I Let's not spoil anything in our initial review and okay. then we'll cut talk to the about spoilers. Because, I mean... You can't really talk about this film without revealing what's going on. Right, right, right. It's, uh... It's... Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I did not expect to like this as much as I did. This was great. This was... Amazing. An amazing movie. I love this movie. I love this movie. Oh, my God. It was so freaking tense. Yeah. I I told you, like, I... For, like, 85% of it, I was like... I, I think I turned to you several times during the viewing and was like, I am sick to my stomach. Yeah, and for like I would probably say for the last fifteen minutes you were standing, you weren't even sitting down anymore. I was like, I know, I was like, oh my, God, where is this going? And I'm like yelling at the TV, bitch, cut him up, cut him up. <laughs> what are you doing? Run, bitch, run, be alive, get some help. <laughs> From one of our favorite Chappelle skits. Yeah. What did you think? I like I said, I thought this was great. I was not expecting. The way it went. I mean, the trailer gives some of hints, it away. It gives but some, not some all of hints it. about what's going on, but not not what I was expecting. I, I thought maybe it would be sort of like like she gets brought into this sort of like life. world or this life, and it's sort of like a mutual thing. I, oh, good lord, yeah, yeah. good lord. I, I and I think you said it best because the trailer really is deceiving. Because just looking at the trailer, you can't even pick up what's going to happen. No, not like at when, all. When when the first shoe drops, you're just like, what? What? There's like a speech. <laughs> exactly. there's a, like, there's a speech given, where you think, oh well, okay, so wow, this is strange, and then it just, it's like so blunt, like the delivery yeah. of of it's like, okay, so this is what's going to happen. Right. Very matter of fact. Very matter of fact, in a sort of almost lighthearted way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just like, oh my god. Oh my God! And you, you you're just like at that point your adrenaline's up yeah. and it and it just keeps going. It keeps going, and then you you reach other points where you're just like, oh my God, no! There's no turning back now. There's <laughs> this is people are gonna die, and and, yeah. and it's just yeah. like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. This movie it's, was quite the ride. Quite yeah. the ride. And great performances by Fantastic everybody. Fantastic performances. Uh, who, who's the lead actress? Uh, Daisy Edgar Jones. Daisy, she was great. Jojo T. Gibbs, who that played Molly. Molly. Molly, she was fantastic. 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 Uh, Sebastian Stan. Wow. Amazing. I know. The whole time I'm like, fuck Bucky. <laughs> fuck yeah. him hard. <laughs> I do not like Bucky. <laughs> what the hell happened? Yeah, and like, he's so perfect because he sort of... He sort of reminded me. Well, I, I don't want to. I don't want to give too much away, but he to, he really toes that line, right? He. I mean, he was just really. He was, was really he, really he was good. Like, in the beginning, like when you first meet him, he's he's sort of a goofball. He's, and, he's a sort of goofy, charming guy trying to pick up a girl in the supermarket. Allegedly being awkward, even allegedly though he's hot. Awkward. I don't yeah. know what he's talking about, but whatever. And even like throughout their first date. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> even throughout their first date, he's he's completely charming and, and they self deprecating. They self deprecating. They get along so well. It's he, almost like he knows her. Yeah. I mean you could you could genuinely believe that he like this wasn't the norm for him. It this, certainly wasn't this, the norm for her. It, yeah, it wasn't the norm for her. She had, she had t like, she was always talking about, or, like, you get to see one of her first dates, or blind dates that she gets. Oh, my God. One guy it's is fucking disaster. some dude wearing, like, one of those douchey scarves <laughs> at dinner. Chad. Chad. Oh, I'm going to take your leftovers. I'm meeting my bro later, or something like that. Oh, 
God. And then at the end, when she's like, yeah, I don't think this worked out, he's like, well, you don't have to be such a bitch about it. Yeah, or, like, you're not yeah, even my type. You're not even my type, bitch. And you're, never, you're never gonna get a man being such a stuck-up bitch. Oh, my God. Just some butt-hurt loser. Yeah. And then, like, the next, she's, like, on the little app again, and, and some guy, like, put his profile as oh his dog, God. and she's like, oh, what a cute dog you have. And he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna make you wet, whore, and, and just... <laughs> dick pic suddenly oh god so she's really when not did, and not to deviate from this conversation but when did that become a thing i don't know when i mean when i was a youngster <laughs> no but when we were young you didn't take naked pictures of yourself and no, that was and that was before because you had to go drop them off yeah, at like the cvs at the photo yeah, the, mat. exactly you didn't want that shit getting out but kids develop. but it's so funny to me because like like, where do you think that that's worse now? Because it's in a server that's in the cloud that can yeah. be accessed and by basically these, and anyone. And the funny thing is, a lot of these stupid kids, they're just like, oh, it's just on my phone. No! No! It's nothing, on the World Wide Web. On, if you take a picture with an electronic device, it's it is even not worse. yours anymore. More, yes. It is, it is kids, somehow please, don't getting do out these to the internet, things. whether you realize it or not. Yes, yes. Seriously, Sorry. Everything that's... is connected to Wi-Fi, and... You're like, oh, I'm just gonna send a picture to my boyfriend. No, you're no. sending it to your boyfriend and, and everybody other else people. in the world. world. Exactly, exactly. There's no privacy. Yeah, you are like a child pornographer now <laughs> because you are sending your photo out worldwide. Exactly. Okay. So getting back to the story, <laughs> rant over. Yes. Um, and then she meets Steve at the supermarket. Yeah, she meets Steve. It's not through the dating app. She just no. meets him at the supermarket. In real life. It's a refreshing and change for her. She tells yeah. her friend. Oh, and. She even says that. Shout out to Molly, who is the best of friends. Everyone should have a Molly in their life. Yeah. Seriously. This woman legit went. Above and beyond. Above and beyond a being a friend. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> That was this movie was. If good. I was Molly, I would have been like, "Bitch, I told you, I told you." It's like the end of Get Out. <laughs> I told you not to go up there. <laughs> the TSA handles that business. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. This the the writing on this was real, and it's not a short movie. An hour and fifty four minutes. It's it's kind of on the long side. I mean, this is it's tagged as comedy, although I don't think That's... there's anything. I mean, there's satire, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's, like, comedic moments about the dating scene. Right. But this is... This is, this is a horror, horror movie. movie. Yeah. This is a horror movie. This is straight-up horror. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, my stomach, the whole time, I was on edge. Seriously, when... Probably like from the middle to the end of the movie, it was it's, just nonstop. It's just, yeah, yeah. You get it's so, like you're so anxious. You're thinking, "What? Oh my God! What's is Noah going to try something? Is she going to try yeah. something? Yeah. What's going to happen with Steve? Is Steve going to figure things out, or 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 is is Noah old, is Noah with Steve now? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it is this like some sort of Stockholm thing? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just it. You can you is, can't is, predict. You yeah. can't. And there was like, you know, they, they, they were like throwing like little satanic imagery in yes. there. But anyway, uh, I mean, do you, uh, I feel like we need to spoil stuff. Now yeah. To yeah. Really get into discussing. Yeah. Um, so what would we give this film? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. I would also give it eight and a half. Eight and a this half. Was, this was really good. Really good. Refreshing. Thoroughly entertaining. Thoroughly entertaining. Amazing script. Yeah. Amazing script, amazing performances by all the. I mean, it's not a big ensemble piece, but all of the characters like do a really good job. A yeah. really, really, really good job. Mm -hmm. Really, just top to bottom, top notch. Shout out to the women directors and screenwriters out there because Lauren, what was it, Lauren Khan and Mimi Cave. Hats off. I want to see everything you ladies are making. This was this was a revelation to me. I didn't expect to like this as much as I did. And I love horror. And I feel like we haven't really seen a good horror movie in a bit. It's been a while. It's been a I, while. I, I feel like... I, I don't know. The last couple of films we've seen have been more duds than good things. And this, this, yeah. This what was felt, the one, Italian one? The classic horror movie. Classic horror movie, yeah. yeah. That wasn't. That was just I, I'm okay. I'm just talking about the stuff we've seen like in the last couple of days. 
Oh yes, and, that and too. Maybe like that a couple, too. Last couple of weeks, actually. Yeah, that too. That too. Yeah, this was. This was something. This was really, this really was something. Really enjoyable. Once again, Hulu. Um, MVP coming out with good stuff, stuff that you really. I mean, I've never heard of this thing until we saw the. So we saw the little clip when we turned on Hulu. Yeah, but the, but it was also a really good trailer because I think from the trailer, I was like, oh, I want to see this. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. We should go through our saved movies on there because I think the lodge is on there. We gotta we gotta watch that. That looked good too. Mm -hmm. That's an older film, but still. Okay, so eight and a half, eight and a half. So yeah. this just came out not too long ago. Yeah. So it's still, it's still in like their new features feature section. section. So if you don't want spoilers, now is the time to turn off the podcast. But if you want to deep dive with us for a little bit, then stick around. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically. <laughs> well yeah let's run through the story so we had we had stopped at they met at the supermarket right so they everything seems great he seems like the perfect guy and she sleeps with him she on the first date on the first date and she tells molly who she molly, molly was molly. like girl don't trust anybody without an instagram right because she wanted to stalk him and as all good friends do so fast forward, there he invites her to go away for a weekend, and then he says, "Oh, the traffic's bad, so let's just go to my house and we'll leave there in the morning." Mm -hmm. And he brings her to this super out of the way place area. Like, I mean, they drove all forever. day, yeah. And so there, one warning sign number one. one, right? Then they go to the house, and he mixes her a drink, and and as he's uh, mixing her the drink, she's in front of a painting that has. Dun dun dun! A little clue. Yeah, it looks like there's a tooth in the in the painting. Yeah. Of course, the drink is drugged. Yes. And when she wakes up, she's like groggy. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't even realize she is now shackled in some sort of like very nice dungeon. <laughs> it was a very nice dungeon. Everything in this house was beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Well decorated. I can only imagine what the contractor was thinking when the guy was like, "Yeah, I'd like this." beautiful dungeon built <laughs> three rooms with a nice mural on the wall yeah. she wakes up and sebastian stan or steve comes in and gives her the speech and tells her what exactly is going on yeah. and from the trailer you think oh the trailer gives hints that this film is about cannibalism right right but i thought it was going to be what you said before like he's bringing her into the fold yeah, he yeah. meets like this other kindred weirdo so yeah. he's like so you think it's about a couple of cannibals well yeah. what you find out is sebastian stan uh, steve he has a business and his business is selling meat and he tells her that he's like don't worry i'm not going to rape you i'm not going to kill you well not right now, anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sell your meat. Yeah. Which is like such he, a weird... And he just says that right out. I'm going to sell your meat. Matter of fact, like... Matter of fact. And he's he's like, don't worry. I'm going to make it real comfortable for you. I'm going to keep you alive as long as I possibly can. You're not going to feel any pain. I'm just going to... Unless you're bad. Unless right? you're bad. And, yeah. and over time, I'm just going to take more and more of you. And uh, I have this business. It's, it's very lucrative or whatever. My God. And the, we go from there, and it just... You're, it's off to the races. At that point, you're like, what? your adrenaline's up. You're right. like, oh, my God, what the hell's going What's on? What's going on? Yeah, what happened? I was rooting for Steve. Steve? Yeah. You were rooting for him? Well, I was rooting that it was going to be, like, a good relationship, although I knew from oh. the trailer that it wasn't going oh. to go down the okay. right... I no, was like, I was why are you rooting for the guy who just told <laughs> no, him he's going to no, butcher no, this no. innocent woman? No, before that, because again, when I saw the trailer, I had a completely different interpretation of what was going to happen. Right? Yeah, you th I thought it, it made it seem like it was going to be some sort of weird cannibal love story. Yes, exactly. Like, come into my world. You come into my world. Yeah, and you will. Move, I like you, you will and find out that eating flesh is the best. Yes, and. I mean, the the film goes on from there. Uh, he, she tries to escape, and he punishes her. He punishes her. He he cuts off her ass. Yeah, and th that was like weird to me because like she is walking afterwards. Right, right. I guess somehow you could still 
function without butt muscles. Maybe. But yeah, and then and or maybe and, he cut. I mean, there was a scene where it looked like she was sitting on the date when she's wearing the pink dress. So it looked like she had a butt. So maybe he like peeled off a bit of it, not all of I it. I don't know. Maybe it. Yeah, maybe he cut off a, a certain amount where right. it only it. It was just I don't know because there's that scene where she's going to the bathroom and like the underwear has blood. Yeah. From where I guess her butt would be. Yeah. So it's probably like exposed. I don't know. So. Ugh. Ugh. And you're like thinking, oh my god, this is happening. This is it. He's gonna. Yeah. There's no way she's getting out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, but he keeps her alive, and and then she gets she, a sign she, in she, one of her little magazines. Well, and also she's like she becomes like sort of friends with the the voice of a woman in the cell nearby Next to her, yeah. who's also based penny. Who's also penny she's also being cut little by little and there's another girl named melissa, melissa who is com she's like apparently completely lost her mind and probably point. been there the longest yeah and uh she doesn't make it yeah I, uh andrea bang was penny and do they even mention i mean i think you hear melissa briefly yeah but anyway, as the the story goes on, it basically becomes sort of like this cat and mouse sort situation. of sort of situation where um, Noah is she realizes that this guy actually does like her because what's her name? Penny. Penny says none of nobody else slept with him. He never right. slept with anybody else. And then she sees a note in a magazine from a previous victim that says, "If you're still if you're reading this." And that means he still likes you. Right. And then there's the whole other story of Molly trying to find her friend. And she gets kidnapped by him. Yeah. She goes to you, confront you meet, his meet, wife. wife. We find out that he has a wife. Yeah. And the wife, and the, and the wife has a secret. The wife's secret. Yeah. It, we won't talk about that. We'll let you. We'll let you find out on your own. Yeah. But overall, I mean... Like I said, it, it it develops into this sort of like game of cat and mouse where she's she's trying to ingratiate herself. Yeah, she's gaming him. to Steve yeah. again, and he's Re falling for his it. Trust, and he's falling for it because he genuinely does like her. Yeah, and also while this is going on, you're kind of wondering, is this? I mean, you can see that was what what her plan was, but is something changing in her? Yes, yes, I couldn't tell because that's tell. that when they're on that date yeah i was like like is she's gonna she's gonna go to the dark side yeah is is that what's gonna happen or is it she's just gonna she's just suckering this guy yeah 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 you and, can't tell she plays her cards very close to the best her cards really well like for somebody who's in the situation she's in she is remarkably in control yes and uh it it plays out beautifully. I mean, yeah. it's this is a this is a good story. Yeah, yeah. This was a really good story from start to from finish. Start to finish. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't bored. I didn't think anything dragged. Everybody's dialogue was was spot, spot on. on. Everybody played their part really well. Even like minor roles, like the wife. Uh, the wife was interesting because I yeah. Yeah, there's there's like uh, I mean I don't want to give too much away because I feel like the pun, there's meat on that <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, everyone did a really outstanding job in this. Yeah, yeah. the cinematography is great. Sets, the dialogue, the yeah. sets, the set pieces, the costuming, the music was well music handled. Music was well handled. There was like some scenes with like dancing and yeah the, yeah the, not, Richard it wasn't, Mark's wasn't music. like it wasn't like a choreographed dance it it, just... it, you know he sort of reminded me of the patrick bateman character in uh american psycho uh because he to me like he towed that line like he was he could be menacing but he could also be charming yeah but even like I never got the like the American Psycho guy was like when he would lose it it was like rage. Yeah, yeah. Steve was always like everything is under control. control right. Everything I am I am in control of everything. Right. And even when everything starts going crazy at the end and stuff happens to him. Right, right. That would probably make somebody want to just give up on life. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's still going. He's yeah, still yeah. he's still trying to get this situation under, under control. control. Yeah. And yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's afforded him this wonderful lifestyle. I mean, he has this crazy house in the middle of nowhere, but he also has the house with the wife and kids, yeah. right? So he's 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 rolling in some decent cash. Yeah. Well, apparently. And fuck good. all these guys that are paying high prices for women meat. Yeah. Fuck all of you guys because you know what? <laughs> Even though this is a movie and maybe an exaggeration, I uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this shit really happens in real life. I would you know not what? be e surprised. Yeah, probably. I mean, everything weird and perverse yeah. that could happen has probably happened. Yeah, I mean, this world will break your heart yeah. in a million different ways. And that was another thing that as I was watching this, I was like, I mean, at the end, I was like, high five, ladies. But at the same time, I was like when you see the stuff behind that painting yeah. it's like there's a lot of women that went through here and then that scene where he goes into that refrigerated room yeah. and you just see body parts yeah. and that was completely fucking disturbing completely yeah. and then you have the guy with the ponytail who's just He's just like, all right, this yeah, is my job. This is my I job. Deliver, I deliver body parts. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's like, dude. Nobody has a conscience. No. Yeah. Nobody. At least not in that line of work. No. I mean, you, that's that's who you're going to hire. Right, right. You're not going to hire the normal guy who's just like, wait, we're delivering what? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't this. know how I feel about that. Yeah. yeah. I know. mean, I need a paycheck, but. I ain't, ain't going to blow up your spot, but, but... I, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. And then I, there was another sentence that I thought was interesting. He said that men don't taste as good as women. So I'm assuming he's tried both. Probably, yeah. Uh, I mean, if if all the little clips and snippets of the of the people that you see of, of the clientele, they're all like old dudes. Yeah. So they're, but I could they're, see they're the old dudes they're wanting women. Just, yeah, that's what I mean. They're yeah. probably just like, I, I, would, I want a young, fresh woman. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, sleep, if he sent them sleep. a guy, they probably couldn't even tell. Yeah, they probably wouldn't know either way. But also, you got to think about who's, like, his recruiting method. Mm -hmm. He's picking these women up. So right, right. He'll get women much easier. Plus, he's, he's, he's Sebastian Stan is probably... A fit guy. Guy, yeah, yeah. Well, you see him in that scene where he's running. Yeah, he's he's keeping himself care of, in shape, so. so he's probably going after smaller women. Right. Well, they, he women, definitely had a thing, women right? Women that he gets to know and like find out if they have any sort of close relations or anything right. like that. Probably single women in the city who have single at least one city. parent who's passed on. He definitely had a type that he went after, and I'm I'm assuming yeah. all these women were like loners much like noah uh -huh. i don't think he counted on noah or molly going the extra mile going the extra mile yeah kudos to molly some detective work there yeah yeah and paul for giving her the intel yeah that was the bartender yeah 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 he was funny though i mean that was kind of funny that kind of made me laugh like i know how this is gonna end i don't yeah. make it out alive <laughs> i was like oh my gosh He's seen enough movies. Yeah. But uh, all in all, just really well done. Really. I mean, the pacing on this was chef's kiss. I mean. Yeah. The, and you know what? I, I like the way they, like, the thing with Paul that, like, I was like, oh, this is kind of a, this is kind of bad writing because it's like, oh, he's going to show up just as they're mm -hmm. making the big escape. But it didn't matter. No, they never, they never connected. Right, because they it left wasn't, in it the wasn't back, like, and it wasn't he... like Paul pulled up and was like, "Wow, that's a creepy looking house!" And suddenly they just run out screaming and they yeah. get into his car. Like, right, oh right. my god, thank God you're here! Coincidentally, yeah, yeah. they didn't. They, they didn't completely do that. They crossed paths. They made. They sort of made you think that was going to happen, but they didn't do it, and yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That was a good bait and switch because it was like, oh, here's some bad writing that you're going to complain about. Yeah. Oh, oh wait. Oh, screw you. We yeah. Didn't, we didn't. We didn't, we didn't fall do that. Into that trope. Yeah. Well, I I thought he was going to die. I thought like Sebastian Stan was going to come out and kill him to like kind of yeah he get just, rid of all he the witnesses. Just, he just drove up, looked at the house, and yeah. was like, Nah, son, I'm out yep. of here. And he just backed out of the driveway. What was that parrot? Hell, nah. 
<laughs> the parrot, the parrot. Hell no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> this movie was something. I, yeah, I didn't expect to like. I mean, I thought the, the the trailer was quirky and fun, and like like I said, I I, I thought that the story was going to be something completely different. Yeah. I thought it was like cannibals in love, but this was this was this was quite the journey. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen it, absolutely check out Fresh from 2022. That's right now. Rated R runtime of one hour and what is it, fifty it's roughly fifty four yeah, fifty four minutes. Uh, directed by Mimi Cave with a screenplay credit to Lauren Kahn starring Daisy Edgar Jones as the lovely Noah and Bucky. A very loathsome <laughs> Bucky as Steve. All right. Yeah, I need I need a couple of days to recover from this. I'm I'm really I'm really upset with Bucky right now. Mm -hmm. And it's on Hulu. And it's on Hulu. Go check it out. And that's mm -hmm. it from us. And we bid you all a good night. Good, good night. night.